Daniel chapter 11, lesson 12, part 2. Antiochus Epiphanes is a type, a prefiguring of the final Antichrist that will come. Verses 32 through 35 help us to transition to another time, a time still future to the events in Daniel 11, 2 through 31. Daniel 11, 32 through 35. Such as do wickedly against the covenant shall he pervert by flatteries, but the people who know their God shall be strong and do exploits. Those who are wise among the people shall instruct many, and they shall fall by the sword and by flame, by captivity and by spoil many days. Now when they shall fall, they shall be helped with a little help, but many shall join themselves to them with flatteries. Some of those who are wise shall fall to refine them and to purify and to make them white, even to the time of the end, because it is yet for the time appointed. Notice in verse 36 that a new king comes on the scene. Through verse 32, the focus has been on the king of the north and the king of the south. But we know that the new king has come on the scene in verse 36 from a careful reading of verse 40. Daniel 11, 36 and 37. The king shall do according to his will, and he shall exalt himself and magnify himself above every god, and shall speak marvelous things against the God of gods, and he shall prosper until the indignation be accomplished. For that which is determined shall be done. Neither shall he regard the gods of his father, nor the desire of women, nor regard any god, for he shall magnify himself above all. Daniel eleven thirty-eight and 39 but in his place shall he honor the God of fortresses, and a God whom his fathers didn't know shall he honor with gold and silver, and with precious stones and pleasant things. He shall deal with the strongest fortresses by the help of a foreign God. Whoever acknowledges him, he will increase with glory, and he shall cause them to rule over many, and shall divide the land for a price. The time frame for the new king introduced in verse 36 is clear. It is the time immediately preceding the resurrection of the dead, the just and the unjust. Daniel 12, 1 and 2. At that time shall Michael stand up, the great prince who stands for children of your people, and there shall be a time of trouble such as never was since there was a nation even to that same time. And at that time your people shall be delivered, every one who shall be found written in the book. Many of those who sleep in the dust of the earth shall awake, some to everlasting life, and some to the shame and everlasting contempt. It will be at that time that the resurrection of the dead takes place. Daniel 12.2 And at that time is the time of the end. Daniel 11:40 Read 2 Thessalonians 2, 1 through 12. Daniel 11:40 At the time of the end shall the king of the south contend with him, and the king of the north shall come against him like a whirlwind, with chariots and with horsemen, and with many ships, and he shall enter into the countries and shall overflow and pass through. Of course, the time of the new king may represent more than the lifetime of that first king. For example, as we read of the king of the north and the king of the south, those kings represent a dynasty of sorts. The period spans hundreds of years. We are reading of a kingdom period started by a particular king, a particular person, Poltomi and... Seleucids. It is also possible that the new king of verse 36 starts a dynasty of sorts, a dynasty that has a beginning, is an antichrist system, 
and lasts until the time of the end. In fact, the time of the resurrection of the dead. The main area of operations for the king is clear. He will be attacked by the kings of the north and south, Daniel 1140. We know the areas occupied by those kings from Daniel 11, 2 through, 2 through 31, and history. He will invade Israel, the beautiful land. He will overpower Egypt, Libya, and the realm of the Nubians. The area of Edom and Moab and Ammon will be delivered. Those areas are in modern-day Jordan. Daniel eleven forty one through 43 He shall enter also into the glorious land, and many countries shall be overthrown. But these shall be delivered out of his hand, Edom and Moab, and the chief of the children of Ammon. He shall stretch forth his hand also on the countries, and the land of Egypt shall not escape. But he shall have power over the treasures of gold and silver, and over all the precious things of Egypt. And the Libyans and the Ethiopians shall be at his steps. The word translated in the NIV as delivered in Daniel 11.41 has the underlying meaning of escaping by being smooth or slippery. Daniel 11.44 But news out of the east and out of the north shall trouble him, and he shall go forth with great fury and destroy and utterly to sweep away many. He will place a royal palace of some sort in Jerusalem on the site of the temple, the beautiful holy mountain Zion. Daniel 11.45 He shall plant the tents of his palace between the sea and the glorious holy mountain, yet he shall come to his end, and none shall help him. The king will be an agent of change. He will not regard the gods recognized by his people. In fact, he will lift himself above those gods. He will blaspheme the true God. He will honor a different God, a God of fortresses. The word carries the idea of defensive forces. Daniel chapter 11, lesson 12, part 2, the end.